Ferrara-based company Agrisea manufactures four seaweed concentrate products from a brown kelp, native to New Zealand. 95% of their clients are conventional farmers. Jill Bradley is Agrisea's managing director, as well as chairperson for the Seaweed Association of New Zealand. She explains the benefits of seaweed in the farming system. For conventional farmers, high urea uses or high you know, uses of phosphates, their phosphates lock up. When seaweed goes across a locked up farm, the results are visible. When you have healthy soil and you have healthy pasture, you then have healthy animals. And it's a feature of a seaweed property and that doesn't matter if it's an orchard or a farm, no disease or very little disease. This is uh, fresh New Zealand seaweed species, Econia radiata. It comes out of the water, it's dried properly, packed into these wall bales and sent direct to this factory, at which time my husband and the brewers go on through the process with the freshest seaweed in the world. We use a cold brewing process because uh, heat destroys certain elements. Now we don't want heat. For example, the soil product brews outside for two months and every day it's hand stirred with wooden handles and on the third month it's brought inside to the dark room and it rests. So it's a very, very long, slow process. Um, one of the other uh, products, uh, we actually chop the seaweed up and it uh, brews inside, that recipe calls for that. It has different herbs put in it at different stages. And I can't say too much more, my husband will kill me. <laughs> Dairy farmer Murray Sargent has been using seaweed fertiliser on his property in the Waikato. I put it on one winter and just sort of forgot about it for two or three months. And then after that time I noticed quite a response and I thought, well, something's working here and uh, just took it on from there and started including it as a uh, mainstay of fertiliser. I just look upon it more as an animal health type thing. It's obviously doing something to the earthworms, the microorganisms, stuff like that. I haven't put a great deal of solid fertiliser on in the last 10 years. And my uh, pH level's still around 6.5, 6, 6. Phosphate levels are well up. A lot of people want to put the NPK on it. They want to put definite figures of why it's doing and why it isn't doing and, and so forth. But I mean, I'm just speaking from experience. I've been using it for the last 10 years or more. And I've never seen my stock look better. My production's still, well, it's up there as, but as much as the best years I've ever had. Um, and animal health problems is non-existent.